Have you heard? Kushkan is headed to Tampa this August 6th and 7th. Network with more than 7,500 hemp and cannabis professionals. Sample products from more than 300 brands and take in over 70 educational sessions. Do you work in cannabis or hemp? Kushkan Tampa is the only place you can meet directly with the nation's largest distributors and retailers. Get tickets and learn more at kush.com forward slash kushkan. Plus, listeners of this show can save 50% on tickets with promo code podcast. Again, that's kush.com forward slash kushkan. See you there. That you need to indoctrinate yourself with not only understanding the truth about what's going on with what we're putting in our bodies and in our brains, but how to make sure that it becomes a part of your routine. Something that you do for six months consistently then becomes a part of who you are. It can start in your subconscious as few as 21 days, but when you stick to a routine for six months, it becomes a part of who you are. Welcome to the Miracle Plant Podcast, the show that inspires, promotes, and gives you a daily dose of inspiration from the people who have used cannabis to change their lives in extraordinary ways. Here's your host, Justin Benton. Welcome back to the Miracle Plant Podcast, where we discuss this miracle plant with so many names and how it's helping people in so many extraordinary ways. Hi, I'm Justin Benton, host of the Miracle Plant and the Miracle Plant product line. We have some incredible, exciting news to share with you. As many of you know that have heard this episode or heard this podcast before, know that we are on a mission to heal the world for what this miracle plant had done for our family, specifically for my son, to pay it forward, to reach 1 billion people by 2025. So many people came to us for things like pain, mostly in the, in the beginning after they started to hear our story. And it was fibromyalgia, it was neuropathy, it was uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And they would come and they would walk up these stairs. We had a two-story office building that sometimes they had to be carried or we had to come down the stairs to them because they couldn't go up the stairs to give them this same miracle plant oil. And, you know, lo and behold, um, it actually helped and worked. And when we started seeing it helping people in so many different ways, specifically with pain and complex autoimmune, uh, you know, ailments, that's when it really dawned on us that we needed to make this the mission. We needed to continue to educate. And in order for us to reach such a lofty goal, we also wanted to make sure that we were giving you not just one thing that could help, and certainly whole plant raw hemp oil is amazing at helping the body reduce inflammation and set itself up for for success. But also we wanted to make sure that we were giving you true holistic frameworks, true allowing your body to do what it was intended to do, which is heal. Just like when you're seven years old and you get that scrape and you wake up the next morning and the scrape is gone, our bodies intuitively know how to heal. So we launched what's called Take Control of Your Health Summit. We did it back in January. It was an amazing success, had incredible guests. In fact, we actually played some of those guests and some of those amazing interviews on the Miracle Plant Podcast you're listening to. So you can be sure to go back and listen to some of those. We're gonna do it again. That's right, on July 15th, that's a Friday at 9 a.m., we're gonna do a three-day summit, bringing back some of those great speakers and bringing some incredible new speakers to cover the five pillars of health. Again, just a refresher out there, the five pillars of health. Number one pillar is, of course, what we talk about here on a, on a consistent basis, which is food is your medicine, you are what you eat natural supplementation and making sure that you are putting in your body the building blocks and the things that it needs to act the way it wants to act and help yourself find that homeostasis and balance. So that's pillar number one. Pillar number two is mindfulness, is being intentional, is meditation, is prayer, is is doing the things that set you up in your mind to have success. 
to make sure that you're doing the things that bring you joy, that you're practicing gratitude, that you're surrounding people that lift you up, doing those things and getting your day started off with something of a consistent morning routine. So the second pillar is mindfulness. The third pillar is exercise. And we bring in some of the world's greatest experts who can talk about exercise and the things that have worked. Today we have technology and, we ha- and, it, and it blends in, you know, that exercise blends back in with nutrition and can blend in with mindfulness. Like if you go for a jog on the beach, that's an awfully good mindfulness practice with exercise. So that's pillar number three. Pillar number four is such a simple one, but man, do we screw it up, as at least Americans do anyways. And that's the pillar of hydration and water. We're going to be bringing in some more special guests to go deeper and, you know, no pun intended, but like go down the well here, deep dive on water, 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 water. We just don't drink enough water. We don't have access to clean water. We're confused about what's good water and what's bad water. And it's so simple that we'll share some, you know, secrets and and insights you won't hear anywhere else about how important water is. If we all just drank half of our body weight in ounces of water every single day, I promise you, I promise you, you would feel better and you would look better and you would have better energy and you would just, you would do more of what you want to do and you'd have less time in the doctor's office so just take that one to the bank and the fifth and final pillar that we discuss on the three-day summit for take control of your health is sleep right so sleep getting that full night's sleep figuring out how to put the phones away get the electronics away how to how to you know get into a routine what things we should eliminate from we actually go to bed at night and figuring out what is that ideal hour for us is it six seven eight hours what are those things and making sure you get sleep on a consistent basis. There's nothing better to recharge your batteries, to get your body to naturally find homeostasis and heal than to get a good night's sleep. So those are the five pillars that we talk about. And look, some of them, you've, you've, we've all know about the five pillars, and you've probably heard about most of the things that I just mentioned, but are you doing them? Are you doing it? So it's to know something and not do it is worse than not knowing it. So that's part of it here. We are going to open Pandora's box for you. We are going to show you from experts and and research, whether it's from Harvard or PubMed or people that have walked the walk for decades and shown people how to do these things, we're going to bring them on there. And not only are we just going to give you the information for you to take control of your health, we're going to have accountability groups, we're going to have a community, we're going to continue to hold your hand through this process, we're even going to give some of you the opportunity to be coached by some of these experts and have have like daily and monthly and weekly access to these experts to help get you through those tough times that you're having or if a question comes up and also giving you the frameworks that are proven to work for Olympic athletes and also work for anybody and everyday Americans and people around the world as well. So again, we're so excited to bring back Take Control of Your Health Summit to get signed up. It's actually free. And I had to think about this one because sometimes you get what you, you, know, you, get what you give and, and, and if you don't pay for something, sometimes we don't pay attention. But on this one, I'm still going to give an opportunity to do it for free. I don't know on the next one, but for this one, make sure you sign up because it is going to be for free. This time, there is going to be access for free, which is www.tcoyh. Org. So that just stands for take control of your health.org because the miracle plan is a dot org. So again, to get signed up for free for the three day virtual summit, it's on Zoom. It'll be right on your phones or right on your computers. Go over to www.tcoyh.org. Get signed up July 15th, 9 a.m. You won't want to miss it. You will not hear insights like this anywhere else of proven science, facts, actual things that will help you take control of your health and of course we'll be talking a lot about this miracle plan so our co-hosts are here dan the man and my mom janet head of research and writing four books right now so happy to have you two here how excited are you guys to have another take control of your health summit Well, I'm very excited because, as you know, we always talk about, like we know, we have an amazing, unique product with our raw CBDA. 
And then all the people that we work with that come into the store. And then I also do Zoom calls actually around the world now about people with health. And it, it is more than just CBDA. I mean, although that's like the fastest shortcut to getting improved health, you absolutely have to be aware of the other pillars. And one I concentrate on a lot is nutrition. And it's like fighting a battle here in America to find something healthy to eat on a regular basis and also that you can afford to use on a regular basis. So pretty much everybody I talk with, we talk about CBDA and how it works for them. But then a big part of what we talk about is uh, nutrition. And it's just amazing how people don't understand the most basic things about how our bodies work. And as Justin said, our body's a self-healing organism. I mean, we've lasted for millions of years without, you know, a doctor's office on every corner and, and medical prescriptions. Like every other per animal on earth or whatever, we are self-healing. But somehow we, our brains, I think, have taken us astray from basic natural eating into all these different crazy things and all the things we're advertised to eat. And so to me, it's just critical. Everybody I talk to that has a long-term illness or a chronic ailment, uh, there's always just big gaps in their knowledge and their follow through of eating healthy. So that's one of the ones that I'm most focused on. And again, to simple things in your life like yoga that has multiple benefits. And so anyway, I'm very excited about this too. There's just so many people in our country that A, as Justin mentioned, we're at 40% now of people who are overweight and clinically overweight, like not just chubby, but up in the 250 range, 300 range, 400 range of weight. And it keeps getting worse. And our rates of death of all different kinds of diseases is increasing. Um, I know our children, even in America, are like 38th in the world in terms of health. Uh, in other words, 37 countries have healthier kids than we do, including all developed countries and a lot of what we call undeveloped countries. So we have a massive mission here. And a lot of it isn't rocket science, as we say. It's just basic knowledge of how our body works and therefore our body needs this. How do you get this in the best way? So I'm super excited to have a chance again to reach out. Uh, Justin and I and Dan, everyone here at the, uh, our company too, we're just passionate about helping people and getting the word out. A lot of it is just the education. And so I'm just very, very excited to have another chance to get the message out and to get the knowledge out and to help people improve their health and their daily life. Absolutely. And it's uh, it's exciting because uh, some some you know there's a lot that's thrown at us and you know there's a lot of people that are you know advertising for us to to uh you know eat meat it's what's for dinner or 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 you know just drink milk or whatever it is there's there are foods out there that are, you know there's the fourth meal taco bell and so we're getting a lot of of messaging whether it's on social media or television um, to, to, to do a certain thing, to eat a certain thing. And then we always hear about these fad diets and we've tried these diets and, and then, you know, sometimes we have this like internal conflict where it's like, well, I've tried all these diets and I can't, you know, it's just not going to work. I've tried enough. I don't have faith. Or you have an external conflict where you're like, you know what? My spouse always buys junk food for the kids. So I'm never going to be able to have, you know, to take control of my health. So we have these internal and external um, you know, myths that we tell each other, this programming. And we're going to talk about that in the, in the mindfulness pillar to really understand how to reprogram your brain, how to, how to start thinking and making good, you know, decisions consciously to actually program your subconscious when it comes to our relationship with food. So there's a lot of things that we're going to go really, really deep on because look, we have been conditioned a certain way, especially in the United States to do a certain thing, right? I mean, you know, my mom, who was a school psychologist for, for decades, you know, saw what they did with the food pyramid and how we taught our children and what was considered to be a healthy food choice. I mean, this is when you're having those formative years, you know, up to seven years old and in that, those earlier years when you're making your understanding what your nutrition is and what your balance is and what you're supposed to be doing. Well, you know what? Unfortunately, hey, cat's out of the bag. You were lied to. And you were made, you were told things that were actually in the best interest of the person who was selling the product to you, in this case, food. There is a big food. There is a big ag. There is money being made in the trillions of dollars based on what your eating habits are. So again, you need access to information that's actually based on truth, that isn't based on selling you something. And here it is. It's not that complicated when you just start to roll the old clock back like we did with the DeLorean there and 
Back to the Future when he zipped back to November or October 1955 and he crashed right into that Peabody's farm with the pine trees. Those were simpler times where people actually had gardens and they grew food and they knew their neighbors and they knew the farmer and they went down and they collected the food or they sold the food and you actually ate some wholesome actual food. That's really the simpler things that we need to understand. I live in California, Dan's in Colorado most of the time, Janet's mostly in the West Coast as well. And there is a movement, there certainly is a movement, and even across the country where we're starting to shop again. You know, there is something called Whole Foods, which was on its own before Jeff bought it, uh, Bezos at uh, Amazon. But again, so at least there's some conditioning out there that we are starting to think about things. But look, there's farmer's markets, right? And you go and you support your local economy. You keep your dollars in your local economy. You buy some wholesome, good food from your local farmer's market. Try to sell some CBD if you can there or buy some or hemp. But it's, we're out here in Ventura and that's against the rules, man. It's against the rules, man. Anyway, so many people are confused about what CBD is and hemp and all those kinds of things. And that's why we have the Miracle Plant Podcast to educate people about what this Miracle Plant is doing. If you looked at my Instagram this morning, I posted um, my Instagrams at the Justin Benton. And it posted on there that from 19, or 1850 to 1936, uh, cannabis oil, hemp oil, whatever you want to call it, was used as the primary medicine for over 100 ailments and diseases by U.S. doctors. Let me repeat that. From 1850 to 1936, the primary medicine used to treat over 100 diseases and ailments was cannabis oil. But question for the audience here, what happened in 1937? Alex Trebek, do you got some music for me? Well, they passed a bill called the Marijuana Tax Act in 1937, which made growing cannabis, whether it be hemp or marijuana, whatever you call it, illegal. And there's always those three little words out there sometimes when you need to just kind of trust your intuition. Follow the money. You're right, Bob. What do they get? They get a get rid of hemp that was competing with cotton and paper. They get a get rid of cannabis that was competing with pharmaceutical industry that was just starting to burgeon. Again, these are the kinds of things that we're going to be talking about in the Take Control of Your Health Summit. Have you heard this one before? Great, if you have. If you haven't, there's a lot more truth out there that you need to indoctrinate yourself with. Not only understanding the truth about what's going on with what we're putting in our bodies and in our brains, but how to make sure that it becomes a part of your routine. Something that you do for six months consistently then becomes a part of who you are. It can start in your subconscious as few as 21 days, but when you stick to a routine for six months, it becomes a part of who you are. At the Take Control of Your Health Summit, we are going to help get these new routines grooved into your brain, rewired into your life so you can get the health that you know you deserve, that you know you can have. And it sometimes starts with something as simple as drinking water or squirting a sublingual oil of plant juice under your tongue. I do make the reference quite a bit to aloe vera and sunburn because for whatever reason, the sunburn, big sunburn industry hasn't developed. So we in this country anyways, we just think of aloe vera and we think of sunburn and we just intuitively know that it works. Now granted, there are lots of companies out there that have made synthetic versions and jelly versions and good smelling versions of aloe vera and you see them right next to the sunscreen aisle. But intuitively, we all know if you have access to aloe vera and you crack the leaf in half and you rub the oil right where the burn is, it works. It's the best of the best. And that's exactly the way that we made our products to heal my son from a severe neurological ailment called autism, which was we grew the plant, we squeezed the oil and the juice out of the plant, and we gave it to him sublingually under his tongue or orally in his mouth because that is the best way to take it. If you can hold it under your tongue for seven minutes, great. Tough with a three-year-old, <laughs> but as we get older, you could certainly do that. So again, these are the things that we're gonna be talking about. 
If you want to learn more, if you want to take control of your health, because we're not here to sell you a system. We're not here to sell you a, anything, really. What we want to do is show you how to get it. Here's the name of the summit. Take control of your health. Take control of your health. Many people, like I said, try our oil and it helps with pain or sleep or anxiety or a complex ailment like it did our son. And then they start to ask themselves the question, what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do to take control of my health? And sometimes it comes down to looking right there and be like, well, I took some plants and helped with my pain. Maybe if I ate some more salad instead of cheeseburger, I can help myself feel better. And these are the kinds of decisions that are intuitively, we know what's best for us, but we're up against a pretty big machine. Look, if you ever read the ingredients that was in the food that we ate, we wouldn't eat it. If you had to go slaughter your own animals, I doubt you'd do it. I mean, let's just think about these things, folks. If you were the one that had to go out there to go kill the pig, to go put it in slice and put it on the bacon, would you do it? Man, yeah, maybe some would. Great, go for it. But if you wouldn't, then stop doing it because they're putting sugars and salts and everything they possibly can in these products to make you addicted to it, to make you addicted to food. It's wild and crazy. But when you put all of these additives and artificial flavors and sweeteners and sugars and 18 different forms of salts and sugars, it is all designed, just like Mike Myers said in So I Married an Axe Murderer and the Pen Tavern that's out on, on, on Netflix, which is hilarious, and he says... They put an addictive chemical to make you crave it day and night. Talking about Colonel Sanders and KFC fried chicken. So again, we're going to talk about things you're not hearing anywhere else. I promise you that. We're going to bring experts from around the world to come and teach you about these specific insights that we have come to develop because people came to us looking for a solution to the hardest, scariest problem in their life. We were able to present a miracle plant in a whole raw form that helped them overcome whatever it was that they were looking to overcome and then they started asking us more and they wanted more and we were the people that have the information that understand what it is that you need to take control of your health so again if you want to learn more if you this sounds like this is intriguing stuff man i want more of this stuff and i want to implement it into my life then go to www.tcoyh dot o-r-g and get signed up for free we also will have some other special offers over there too for you that if you want to take advantage of please do so but just understand it's a three-day event this will probably be the last one that's free um, again it's not because we're greedy we do need to fund the mission to heal the world but it's because people pay attention when they pay right if you got something for free like ah there's no pain when you don't actually watch it but if you paid $100 or you paid $200 and you don't watch it and you don't pay for it and you didn't and you missed it and there's no recordings, ooh, that burns. Well, you know what? That's what we need to do is figure out a way to make sure that not only you attend, but you learn and that you apply. And sometimes people need their hands held and we're able to do that and offer a program for that as well. So again, if this sounds like it's something that you want to do, if you've been asking yourself at night or in the morning and maybe not making the best decisions that you want to make, like, oh, I just want to feel better, I want to look better, then this is your chance to take control of your health by going over to www.tcoyh.org. Get signed up. We want to heal the world. We want to help heal you. We want to teach you so you can take control of your health and then start taking control and helping your loved ones around you by not necessarily just by telling them what to do, but by showing them what to do when you take control of your health. So again, we're so excited that you're here. We're so excited we're doing this again. And uh, you know, before we wrap up the Miracle Plant podcast, I wanted to make sure I threw the mic over to Dan. I mean, he always has some great insights and he had such a great talk on exercise and being the world-class athlete that he is. Uh, we're excited to have Dan back as well. I'm Justin. It's, I'm glad you're doing this. We're doing this again because we had such great feedback from the last time that you did it. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it wasn't about losing weight. It wasn't about restricting people from their things that they love. 
it was just about helping them make better choices. And I think that's what it's, I think that's really what the, the reason it was so successful is because it wasn't preachy. No, none of the speakers were, you know, saying you have to do it this way. You have to do it that way, but it was just giving you easy, super, uh, appliable techniques that are easy to implement into your life and get that routine going. And then, like you said, the next day, Hey, I feel pretty good. Maybe I'll try something else. And I think that's why so many people did were so success, successful from the last time was because of that. It was simple and it wasn't, it didn't have to, you didn't have to change your life to just drink a little bit more water or drink purer water. As simple as that, each one of these very simple steps were people were able to build on. And I think that's why it was so successful last time, but can't wait for, can't wait for it to get started up again. Absolutely. Well, I'm so excited for you to be a part of it and for everyone who's going to go over there and sign up. If you're on Clubhouse, you can see the link there. If you're listening on a replay, then just go to www.tcoyh.org. So take control of your health.org and you will be able to get signed up for free to have access to this information. And whether it's, it is just, if it's just losing 10 or 15 pounds, or if it is just having a little bit more energy, or as it is just having, feeling better about your day, just like the mindfulness pillar is so important and focusing on gratitude and focusing on, you know, you get what you focus on and making sure that, you know, how are we setting up, you know, technology? Like when, when they give you an iPhone, I remember when the first iPhone came out and I bought one and I was like, Ooh, this is cool. It's got all the toys and bells and whistles all in one place. And, but they didn't, they, they gave you a, um, you know, an owner's manual of how to use it, but they never gave us an owner's manual of how to live with it. And, you know, obviously these things are like basically a, a third arm or an extension of our bodies. And we have these notifications and we have these, um, you know, these are all focused on triggering dopamine, whether it's a text that can immediately get you or they can call you or an email or social media. These things are set up to keep you addicted, just like the food and, and is set up with the sugars and the salts to keep you addicted. So we want to help you make, be, be mindful, be thoughtful, be intentional about, wait a second here. There's a, there's a do not disturb on my phone. Oh, there's, there's windows that I can program on my phone that I can't be disturbed, but only by people that I need to be. And again, these are those mindfulness pillars that I see from very, very, not only successful, but happy people. You know, talking about what are the five most important things in your life? I, I encourage you to write them down. What are the five most important things in your life? You know, whether it's your spirituality or your, your relationship with God, whether it's your family, whether it's your finances, whether it's your health, you know, whether it's your attitude, write down these things that are most important to you and then I challenge you, right when you write them down in the top five priorities, right, right next to each one that you wrote, one through five, how much time, what's the percentage throughout the day that you're spending on those things? And if you're writing family down as your number one priority, but you're only spending five or 10% of your day with your number one written down priority, that really is gonna make you stop and think and reevaluate what's important to you and rearrange your life the way you want. Another thing that people don't do that I encourage you to do is a lot of it starts with a pen and a paper. Once you write it, it's like spelling, right? It's like, like sending a spell out into the universe. Once you've written it down, write down what does your perfect day look like? What does it look like? write it down. I wake up, I exercise, I journal, I meditate, I go for a walk on the beach, I get a nice healthy breakfast, I, I do something with some friends, and maybe I check the computer or do something that I need to do for work or for business, I, I connect with the nature and the universe, I see my, my friends, my family, I hang out, we have a nice meal, we go do some fun activity, you know, maybe we do watch a movie or something like that and spend time with a loved one or whatever it is. Write down what your perfect day looks like. Don't let life dictate what happens to you because life will throw a lot of stuff at you. But if you are able to harness the power of turning that phone away 
and only checking on that phone when you want. Technology is great when you're using technology and technology isn't using you. And figure out a way to take control of your life because it is your life and it's up to you to take control of your health and your life. And these are the types of insights that we will be discussing. And yes, they always say like when the Coast Guard comes in and there's a capsized boat and it's rough seas and there's 17 people on the boat and they can only fit four people in the helicopter and they, and they, and, and they ask him like, well, how do you know who to save? Well, when these helicopter Coast Guard folks come in, they say, we save the people that swim towards us. So if you are serious about taking control of your health, swim towards us. Go to the website. Get signed up. If you're ready, right, when the, when the student is ready, the teachers appear, we have helped thousands upon thousands of families, and we want to help you and your family too. You just need to take the first step by getting signed up over at www.tcoyh.org. O-R-G. So I'll always give the final word to my mom because she loves to talk more than I do, believe it or not. So mom, take it away and, and, and send us out of here. Uh, again, too, I can't tell you how excited I am. And one of the biggest frustrations that Justin and I and everybody in the business faces is we are feel great about helping one person at a time. But we have to get beyond that to really reach out to all the people that need help. And that's where I find this so important that we have these summits. And I often find, too, when I'm working with people, uh, similarities, what their issues are, and similarities in some basic solutions. And it just begs the question, we need to reach a bigger audience and get that information out there. Uh, As we say all the time, now Americans, our our life expectancy is declining, folks. Um, Our fertility is declining. Um, Our quality of life is declining. Our climate is declining. We have just a lot of problems, but we don't have to focus on all the big problems. The focus of this summit is for you to figure out what are the areas for you to work on, figure out your priorities for health, learn some new simple information that you can easily get yourself healthier with, and then join us for follow-up and support groups. And so again, too, I know just from looking at my feed on the internet and my all my social media, thousands of like offers and things and this and this and this, that it's really hard to sort it out. But from the bottom of our hearts, we invite you to join this journey. We are not out to make a profit on what we're trying to sell you for ideas. We are literally out to meet our mission, which is heal the world. And we take it seriously and we're passionate about what we do. And so please come join us. Come join the passionate people who want to help you without any reward for themselves and learn how your life can be get better. You don't have to be overweight just because your aunt or your sister was. You don't have to have a heart attack at 45 like your dad. I mean, you can find ways. You can take control of your life right now. And I can't wait to see everybody that shows up for the summit and follows up with this in our support group. Absolutely. Well, I'm excited to do it again. And I know that the people, because, you know, we've had them on the Miracle Plant podcast. You've heard their stories, the Connies and the Lataras and the Kristens. You've heard their stories. You've heard these incredible stories that do belong in mainstream. And maybe they will come and more are coming. I mean, there was some, some news out of Shark Tank that had a, a CBD gummy company, which helped with tinnitus. And they have all kinds of uh, information that was out there. And I was happy. I guess this was the biggest uh, Shark Tank money. I think it was $2.5 million. So, and those are gummies. And we all know the, you know the absorption rate of gummies and what you have to do to make a gummy. So if gummies are helping people with tinnitus, oh my God, imagine if you just grew it in your backyard and juiced it. And if you can't do that, that's what our products are exactly made the same way. And that's why we can get them out there and shipped all over the world. So there is hope. There is lots of hopes out there. Dan was one of the first to remind me, even uh, as we're struggling and fighting this good fight uh, every day to get this, these words out. And as we get, you know, what was it that just happened to me the other day? Oh, I was on a radio uh, TV show and uh, it was actually kind of a controversial radio uh, talk show. And um, uh, one of his uh, affiliates was a country station and they wouldn't play our interview because we talked about CBD. <laughs> so, of course, we have a long way to go. But as Dan reminded me, look how far we've come in the last 10 years and project and how far we're going to be in the next 10 years with people truly taking control of their health 
which really does start with simple things like drinking more water and eating more things that just came from the ground and are green. Start with that one and uh, check back with me in seven days. In fact, we're going to have a water challenge on there like we did last time, a 10-day water challenge, which just means you drink water instead of other types of phony waters out there. We'll do a before and after picture with your face even, just your face, and you'll see for yourself the amazing power of just drinking good, clean water. <laughs> what can happen? It is simply unbelievable. You don't need to run to the doctors. You don't need another prescription. You don't need to be sold a false bill of goods. You just need to drink more water and eat more whole foods. I know it's cat out of the bag. It's not sexy. I'm not making a trillion dollars off of you telling you this information, but it is the truth. And deep down, you know it's true as well. So if you want more truths, if you want to take control of your health, head over to www.tcoyh.org. Get signed up. It starts in a couple weeks. We can't wait to see you over there. At the end of every episode of the Miracle Plant Podcast, we say heal the world because that is the mission. When we were praying, when we were looking for a miracle for my son, we found it through this miracle plant, through juicing it. We decided to go on a mission to heal the world because we saw how many other people it was helping and personally right looked in their eyes and watched them overcome incredibly painful and tough diagnoses. So we continue to pay it forward. We continue to tell our journey and share their journey. So we're so happy you joined us on the Miracle Plant Podcast today. We're going to say heal the world, send that energy, send those vibes out there and share this, like this, review this. Please, 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 some more can find it. And uh, thank you, everyone, for swinging by, and we will see you next week. Go over to the website, www.tcoyh.org, and let's count to three, and let's heal the world. Unmute your mics. One, two, three. Heal the world. world. Thanks for swinging by the Miracle Plant Podcast. We'll see you next week, 10 a.m. Clubhouse. Stay classy. Bye-bye.